There's just so many this time. I'm excited. Oh, it's food. Hello, Ethan. Your family as well. Hello to all of you. Hello. Hi. Oh, faggots. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is time for another P.O. Box opening. We have nine packages because you guys have been amazing and keep sending us really, really cool things. So today we're going to be opening them up uh, and filming it so you guys can see what people have sent us. But before we get into the video, I probably should move these out of the way so my wife can join me in this video. That works. <laughs> now you can hold them all. That was so heavy. I wanted to participate too, so, you know. She was hidden. <laughs> There's just so many this time. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Uh, again, before we get into this, as always, just thank you for everyone being so thoughtful and sending this. <laughs> I, I don't even know what's in it, but honestly, like, I've been just super blown away and impressed with everything that people have like sent us and just the thoughtfulness. And just every time we've gone to the P.O. Box, like, oh, there's another one! Oh, there's so another one! It's definitely a lot of fun. It's definitely a really fun aspect of having this type of channel. Yeah. Other than just learning and interacting, this is definitely like, I don't know, it's just Present really, time. It's really cool. I like it. Let's start with the smaller ones this time in case someone said something that references a big one. Okay. This says time sensitive material. Whoops. It's just kind of a skinny, skinny long package. Wait, people don't like when I use knives apparently. We'll just rip it. Like a, okay, like I'm, a present. I'm not using this because this thing is. <laughs> It's not that you use a knife, it's that you use a knife very strangely. <laughs> strangely a word. Okay, really okay, okay, here we go. Here we oh, go. it's got a letter. Nope. Nope. Um, That's just a receipt. So, well, okay. what is it? Just pull well, it out. That's what she said. <laughs> it is a Welsh flag. Ooh! We finally got our very, very own Welsh flag. You can tell by the uh, dragon parts. I, got, I, mean, I think Wills really does have the, the coolest flag. Having a dragon is just so badass. Whoa, this thing is huge. It says three by five. This sucks. It doesn't say who it's from. Ah! Did I hold it up right? Yep. Yeah. Oh my word, this is huge. It's an actual flag. It's bigger than our map. There That's we go. so cool! There we go, we got our very own Wells flag. Wow. Uh, thank you to whoever sent this to us. Uh, it doesn't say a name anywhere, so if you sent this to us, please comment down below and let us know. That or reach out via email. Or because it, that will be a little more specific. Or through Instagram is fine too. Yeah. But thank you. That's, this is really cool. That's so thoughtful though. This is a blankie. Which one do you want to open? I'll open this. Actually, this one's a little bit skinnier, so we should start smallest. This one is... They're newspapers. From, oh, it says newspapers, so let's see what kind of newspapers. From someone named Yates. Yates? Not to be um, so yeah, apparently the White Rose uh, newsletter uh, was not obviously a newspaper in our last P.O. Box opening. So I, obviously from that, I think it people, was on paper. It pe had some news. <laughs> people sent us actual newspapers. Though. Ooh. Voila. This is the Black County Bugle. That must be a county, obviously. This is from July 21st, so a little, little late. But, you know. <laughs> There's the a voice of Black County. Oh, there's a letter. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. I'll read the letter. Hello, Ethan and Mrs. Ethan. That would be me. One of your subscribers suggested we send you copies of our local newspapers to react to or just to read. I think that's a great idea. So here's my contribution. Thank you, person. <laughs> the Black County is that area of the West Midlands adjacent to but not including Birmingham. It was. It has its own very distinct dialect. Hmm. Regards from Steve. Steve. We've had something from Steve before. This could be you again. If not, hello and thank you, Steve. So yeah, this is a real English newspaper. Yes. There we go. Finally. Very cool. I'm looking forward to reading it, honestly. There's something about Elton John. I, I caught that already. Ooh. There's also ads. We could look at ads because that's what we love to do. Actually, sometimes, yes. <laughs> Anyway, this, uh, speaking of newspapers, this is from our boy Trevor. Uh, we absolutely love Trevor. He's amazing. And uh, these are, I think, more newspapers. <clears throat> this is from Trevor from Wales. Careful cutting it. Ah, another letter. Uh, this is a letter from Trevor. He mentions 
Uh, as you commented that you had not seen any British newspapers, I thought I would send you my two local weekly ones. The West Sussex Gazette and the Worthing Herald. Uh, both the Sussex was around since 1850 and the Herald's from 1880s. So very old newspapers. Obviously these are not that old. <laughs> these are just the companies. These are whatever week he sent it, I think. There's two in here. Yep. These are big papers. He must live in a bigger area. This is the West Sussex. Often I've never seen a newspaper this thick. Oh, I have. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, that's a the like Kansas big newspaper. City newspaper is pretty thick. It's the uh, do, 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 it's from July twenty second. That's that's the newspaper. This one's July twenty first. Okay. Now we have them days apart. Cool. These are going to be interesting to look through for sure. Hey, listen to the paper. Subscribe. Does that actually say that? Yeah. <laughs> but really, uh, thank you guys for saying the newspapers. It may not seem like much because it's just a newspaper to you guys and it's still just a newspaper to us but it's i don't know it's just different it's from another country yeah we'll kind of get so, to see what their culture's like either way stuff. it's still going to be very interesting to actually like read and just check out but for now the next package which one do you want let's do this little one Ugh. now we actually have a box this one is got a lot of labels on it someone from ireland really that's what it says Tipperary. T Tipperary. It's a long way from Tipperary. I don't know. <laughs> Tipperary Island. So let's open this puppy up. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. Oh, it's food. Ooh. What kind of food? More Cadbury's. More Cadbury's. Look at that. An assortment of all sorts of candy bars. <gasps> it's Comer or Claire's Fudge and many more. Are these all? <gasps> he said extras! This way, there's no letter? I don't see a letter. That's awesome! It says it's from uh, Tipperary. Tipperary? Tipperary? I have no idea. Tipperary. Ireland. <laughs> Excuse me. That's cool! So he just sent lots of extras. That way we have plenty to share. Thank you so much. It's actually kind of weighty. I'm going to open up this oh, box. There's just nothing more, actually. Oh, no, here. All right, we gotta try one. This sucks, I don't know who to thank. All right guys, I'm not seeing a name anywhere. Uh, so again, if you sent this, please comment, email me, or hit me up on Instagram and let me know that you sent it because I really, really, really do want to thank you. So whoever sent the Cadbury Heroes, this from Ireland, please hit me up and let me know that was you. Otherwise, thank you so much, Anonymous. All right, so we're gonna try some of these. You just made a mess. <laughs> Well, what? I want to be able to have a good option of what to pick from. There's so many right, of them. Well, I'm going with the Dinky Decker. So haven't we tried one like that? I know, but the Deckers were so good. All right, well, I'll go with... No, I think I've tried one like that. I'm going with Dinky Decker. I'm going to go with a fudge. That's all it says, fudge. Wait! Mmm. It's like toffee filling. Mmm. Not quite toffee. I really don't think you can go wrong with Cadbury. It's so good. Wow. I'm gonna try one more. How about we both try the cream egg thing? Mm. Oh. Wait, I have to open mine. Mmm. Mmm. Like uh, I seem to remember some comments. People said there was some kind of egg that was illegal over here. Mm hmm? Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. It's some kind of chocolate egg that they don't allow it over here, but they do over there. So if you guys could give me like a little bit of a refresher on that, because I forget what it was. Illegal because it's so good. All right, guys. Uh, again, thank you for sending the Cadbury's. They are... I just I just love Cadbury. They're so good. <laughs> so this is actually a really heavy box. Uh, well, let me as I throw it. Um, actually, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, heavy. This is from a Mr. Allen. Hmm. A burial. From Wilhelm. I don't know. Let's just open it. Yeah. It's like a shoebox, I think. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, food. there's lots of things in here. So there's a malt lunchbox low. Okay, let's see the low first. Uh, oh, wow, this is cool. Ethan, scan me for an audio file. Lots of love from Alan, uh, plus Bobby, who's his dog, apparently. So there's something I need to scan for an audio file. Boom. So. <laughs> this 
This is awesome. <laughs> Hang right. on, let's try it. All right, we got the code to work, so let's listen to it. Hello, Ethan, and your family as well. Hello to all of you. Hello. Hi. I've been planning this box as a little project for a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm pleased I've done this, and I look forward to you receiving it, and I hope you like it. I've done you a voice recording. Duh. Um, and <laughs> you're perfectly free to use my voice if you want to. The top of the box as you open it is Soreen. Usually serve it tea time. Just slice it, add butter. So it's like a bread type thing. Yeah. It's a, a loaf, like a loaf of bread. But it's yeah, like... that's what I say. Interesting. Okay, keep listening. All right. Underneath that, you will have a big orange bag, which has come from Sainsbury's. Wow. Oh, a grocery bag. Nice. This is a really, really big grocery bag. Yeah, those are nice. Like... I do use those too. He gave us coupons. There's coupons. <laughs> Oh yes, that's, that's handy. Excuse me, this is like massive. I can just like, oh, hey, I mean, I just, like, like, and that's how I take him shopping. This is how I go out when it's raining. <laughs> I'm just like waterproof. It's strong and sturdy. Seriously though, thank you. This is really thoughtful. Awesome. I'm gonna use that next time I go shopping. I don't sure. do the shopping. Uh, my wife most, mostly does the grocery shopping because I'm usually at work. But yeah, this is an awesome, really good quality bag. Alright, let's see what else he has to say. Uh, I thought if I give you the bag, when you go shopping at your local supermarket next, you could take a Sainsbury's bag and everyone will wonder why on earth you've got a Sainsbury's bag. <laughs> and just the thought of that, thought I've got to put that in. Underneath that uh, is the newspapers. Lots of newspapers. There's so many newspapers. There's 10 newspapers here. There's the Metro. We've got the <clears throat> Essex Chronicle. Oh. <laughs> the Bristol Post. I wonder if you had to like, travel everywhere to get these. Uh, the Guardian. Nice. The Times. They have, is that the same Times as we have? I don't know. Okay. The Sun. The whole Sun? Uh, just a magazine called I. The Daily Mirror. Can't live without the Daily Mirror. <laughs> Saw Prince Harry on the front. Oh, no. The Prince, well, Prince Harry's on like the front of three of them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the Daily Telegraph. I've actually heard of this paper. That's a big one. Fancy, fancy. And we also have, oh, not the Daily Mail. That's a lot of oh, mail. <laughs> this is so many uh, freaking newspapers. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. And he also goes on to explain that there's some magazines in here too. Yeah, there's still more. So not only do you send us a bunch of newspapers and a serene malt thing and a really, really thoughtful audio recording. I didn't even know that that, that was possible. That's <laughs> really, really thoughtful. We're definitely we're going to finish listening to it here in just a little bit. But as he explains everything else to us, he explains it in very great detail to us. Um, but for the sake of our video, sadly we can't just we can't. It just be too long of a video. I think so. <laughs> So we have what's on TV. Looks like a soap opera type magazine. Nice. Oh, he also sent us some comics. Ooh. It's called Beano. Our boy might like these. I've never heard of those. Um, Beano comics. Oh, it's from Avengers? Maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, there's a, some comic book called Beano. Let's see. And, oh, wait. Sorry, I'm an idiot. What's it? Beano's just the brand. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so there's two Beanos. And, and different comics of comic it. books. So, uh, yeah, I definitely we're gonna read, maybe read these to our son and see what he thinks. But there's still books, more. Yeah. Still more. He sent us a Private Eye, which I think is a football magazine. Oh, cool. Private Eye. Probably like a subscription. Yeah. Probably like a subscription kind. He also sent us a food menu from I think a hotel in Bristol. <laughs> Cool. Sense I wonder that. if they could do a room service this far. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Place an order. Uh, we have another menu from somewhere. So much. And then I think... A bunch of flyers and pamphlets. Flyers to check things out, I'm assuming? Some of them are in different languages. Yeah. Most of them in Welsh. Yeah, they're all in Welsh. I'm assuming. I think things to go see or do in Wells. That's cool. All these really cool flyers. Because Wells is definitely one of those places I want to go to as well. As well. <laughs> There's a suspension bridge. Ooh. 
Um, a Guide to Bristol's Independent District. Love Bath. Spring at I love e Bath. Spring at Eden. Oh. Uh, Cheddar Gorges and Caves. That actually, I love caves. They have lots of caves over there? I thought we were known for more caves. Gosh, wow. He says... There's a lot of So material. immersive here. Just... He says it's just... The zoo! Tons and tons of uh, flyers. I'm assuming for places... Recommendations for places to go check out uh, when we come over there. So... That's awesome. But yeah, this is amazing. So cool. Thank you so much. Just so many flyers. Just flyers <laughs> for everything to go check out. I wonder if he's actually gone seeing all this. I'll have to see if it says. <laughs> these are all just flyers for us to like look into things. I haven't heard of honestly any of these places. <laughs> Same. But, yep, he sent us a map <gasps> of East England. Awesome! That's not it. Where is it? Yeah. That's it. Yep. Why it's so little? Where's the roads? Oh, it tells you everything to do. Ah, okay. So this is just like where all the cool points of. Yeah, the cool places to go check out in East England. That's cool. And then he also sent us a couple of receipts and some of his bus passes. Oh, neat. I think just to kind of give, uh, give us an idea of how much things cost over there. He also gave us a receipt to show you guys the price of petrol, oil, fuel over there. Gas. And it's five eighty six a liter. Jeez. Is that right? That's crazy high. Alan, really, just thank you so much. This was incredibly, incredibly thoughtful. Well, obviously, I have to take more time and actually, like, look into everything that you've given us. These are so um, cool. But, yeah, it's amazing. Thank, really, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly, incredibly thoughtful. And very well done packing everything in such a small box. And then he even <laughs> did an audio recording explaining it, everything in order. I know. So, <laughs> and the order he packed amazing, it, so that's awesome. Amazing, amazing job, man. You were just, you're the best. Expert packer. On to the next package. What do you want to open? Let's go ahead and do this one. Bad. Sorry, it's not like it's gonna hurt you. Wow. <laughs> All right, uh, does this will say where it's from. I think it's just the Amazon delivery or fulfillment, whatever. F -f -f fulfillment. Fulfillment. F -f fulfillment. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> All right. Something. <gasps> Ooh, this looks like a jersey. Let's get a zipper. I don't need to rip this one. Got a zipper. It's got a thing. I don't need to rip it. What kind of jersey, though? Oh, it's, oh it is a legit jersey. Yeah. It is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> no, really, though. It's got to be a team. W-R-U. It's, it's the first team from the Welsh Rugby Union. Oh, so it's, so, rugby. it's rugby. That's cool. How do you pronounce that? Is Yuzu? I don't know if that's actually, I think it might be just the company that makes it. <laughs> I don't know. But I haven't heard of that either, so. Wait, there's more in there. Uh -huh. I think they got one for you. Okay, I remember. There's another one. This is from Martin, uh, and these jerseys are amazing. These like, are really honestly. cool. Honestly. Got another one. That way we each have one. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's going for. This one looks a little bigger. Ready? The same shirt. Yep. That's that is so cool. awesome. Yeah, that will fit you. Really good quality. Yeah, these are like Very high quality thick. jerseys. Yeah, yeah. WR used the team Welsh Rugby Union. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. I, I think uh, this might just be like a brain or something. Let's see what the back says. Same as mine. Yep. These Sweet. are really, really cool. Much rugby. We're ready. <laughs> Thank you so much, Martin. Oh my gosh! Just saw this. Look at that. Can you see? The wait, engraving wait, of the wait, wait, wait. Did you dragon get, of the flag. Where did you get a dragon? Oh, it's on the bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom of the That's shirt. Awesome! That's cool! Ta-da! Rugby! I actually kind of like it. You want to keep running? I think it looks good on me. Yeah. Why not? I think it looks good uh, on you. <laughs> we can actually go play rugby now. <laughs> die. <laughs> die playing. Oh, wait, there's a tag. There we go. Alright, so we're wearing this now for the rest of the video. <laughs> Alright, you can open the next one. Okay, we're opening up another Amazon box. Packing material! Ooh. Woo! Oh. Okay, it is a history of Britain. Let's see if there's a... It's a book! No, wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, okay, here we go. We finally got a note. You, you didn't let me do the. Sorry. You just dropped another note. Just what are you doing? I wanted to look at it. Just do the notes first. Anyway, hi guys. Greetings from Edinburgh in Scotland. Please accept this gift and thanks for all the wonderful work you do for on your YouTube channel from Brian. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Brian. This book is very nice. Look at that. It's a beautiful book. It's just shimmering. <laughs> it really is. I'm I'm guessing that's one of the queens. original queens of England. Yeah, that's Queen Elizabeth. The first? Yeah, I think so. Oh wow. This has got lots of information. Well, obviously. It's a history. Uh but yeah, it's what is the uh, history of Britain and Ireland. Ooh, okay. It's history of Britain and Ireland, the definite visual guide. Because I love me some visuals. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, this, this is an amazing book. Like, seriously. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Extremely thoughtful. Thank you, Brian. All right, which one do you want to open now? Let's open this one that got slightly damaged. Now, you kind of know what's in this because it got damaged. Because you made it slightly damaged? No. It was like that when we picked it up, it was a slightly damaged box. Hopefully uh, I didn't ruin anything else inside. I know there's snacks or food in it. <laughs> I just like this shirt. <laughs> I don't think they actually call them jerseys over there, if I remember. Really? At least not football. I don't think they call them football jerseys. What do you call your... A shirt? Your team shirts. It's a shirt. Ugh. Is there a specific word? Did I get stronger by wearing this shirt? Rugby. Look at it. Alright. Rugby. That's Ooh, a letter. I like it. Something? An invitation to grams for tea. The meal, not the drink. <gasps> There's what? something in here. Mm. Should we look at it? Yeah, I just want to open <laughs> Okay. <laughs> something very formal looking. Hi, innocent family. How oh. sweet. This is, an this is an invitation for a basic British tea as you would have it if you were visiting myself. The evening meal at home would be referred to as your tea. Oh, I forget about that, yeah. They're, it's like evening tea is their meal. Oh. Like what we have our dinner. Okay. Pretty sure, yeah. So it's not just tea. It's like a whole meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Unless you had pretensions of being middle class, in which case you would prefer it as, uh, refer to it as dinner. Yeah. Which, I guess everyone over here is fancy pants. Because we, we always say dinner or supper. <laughs> Please note, this is not fancy pants food. <laughs> he says right after that. And then he, okay, so he sent a whole bunch of meal prep stuff. Wait, really? I think so. No way. Yeah, so we can actually make a British meal. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> oh, actual Boston baked beans. What? Hang on, hang This well, is your box. Here's the baked beans. Awesome. This is awesome. Then we've got the original custard, custard powder. powder. Never heard of that. That is interesting. Oh. When I think of custard, I think of pudding, or what we call pudding, which is like the milky. I think this is all supposed to go with like uh, a dish. No, I think this is all just one meal. But like, uh, anyway, whatever. All right. A measuring cup. That way, because you know, I, I have measuring cups, but it's oh, always yeah, nice to have an extra one. Oh, it's for liters. That's why. Yeah. Well, it says in milliliters. I mean, Ooh. I don't think ours does milliliters. One of mine does. Oh, really? I think so. They usually have both on ours. <laughs> Which this has both, too. No, yeah. this has... Yeah, cups and pints. Oh, my Oops. gosh. Okay, what else we got? We got... HP sauce. HP sauce. That sounds secretive. I don't know. <laughs> Harry Potter. <gasps> Will we all get magical powers now? Hang on, let me see what this is. Ooh, interesting. Oh, like, like little sauce packets. I feel like, it feels like mayo. <laughs> it just feels like a sauce packet. No, it's thick. We've got some Mr. Mr. Kipling's. Mr. Kipling's. We love Mr. Kipling. Sponge puddings. Which again, pudding is different it's... for us here. And then we got some jelly babies. You said the jelly babies are another traditional British favorite. Just hold them up to the camera and say jelly babies, Doctor Who. Jelly babies, Doctor Who. Like that? Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that episode. I love Doctor Who, but I haven't you caught You actually up with watched, a lot of I've only watched, I think I watched one season or two seasons of Doctor Who. Dave, David Tennant, that was like her I've favorite. watched all of David Tennant's. I've watched uh, the first guy. I forgot his name now. <laughs> I've watched some of um, Peter Capaldi. I don't know. I, I lost track. I got busy. <gasps> More mints. He said the matchmaker is a chocolate mint with a cup of coffee. For after your tea. Ooh, I could see that. Meal nodding. So wait, he's saying you have coffee after you have a cup of tea? 
after your tea dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> it's confusing for us, I know. All right, and then we've got, okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you'll have to do it. He said, I, I have also enclosed an empty packet of one of the UK other favorites. Sorry, it was frozen, so this was the best I could do. I thought you would find it interesting. Also, a UK measuring jug, as the measurements do differ slightly from the US. So he made, hmm. he sent that to us to make sure we did it properly. Okay. He didn't screw it up. So he does send us a recipe for yes. making a thing, which is better that I buy my ingredients fresh, probably. That's actually, like, nice quality paper. <laughs> you like paper. He said below as a guide how I would do beans on toast. All you need is to add toast and milk. You'd be surprised how many Americans have tried to make this simple tea but get the basics wrong. Please be that this is not a breakfast meal as some Americans seem to think. Oh, really? That's actually interesting because I've talked to some British people and they like beans on toast is like a basic breakfast meal. So I guess this could go either way. I can guarantee that you will receive comments on how they do this dish, what they would add. But if you come to my house, this is how I would do it. <laughs> I would, of course, provide a poached egg. Okay. So this is how he does it. Screw everyone else. I've never this made a poached egg. Way. For the full British experience, eat on a tray while watching TV. <laughs> that sounds about right. In Europe, we use a knife and fork, retaining the knife constantly in your right hand and the fork in the left. So you can put the brown sauce on your beans. This isn't how most Americans know we eat with the dominant hand. So I Well, eat. I cut with the dominant yeah, we, hand. Yeah, we swap left knife. If we're doing the knife and fork thing. We're going to do it. We're gonna do it. I'm telling you now, we're gonna do so anyway, it. He, this is hilarious though, because uh, you were just saying like we should just make this morning. just this morning. She was like, "Oh yeah, we should make beans on toast," because we've been wanting to maybe like make do a video making a British <laughs> food. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, comment below and let us know. But it's hilarious because uh, we now literally we just this beans. morning she was like, "We should do this." And I was like, "Well, we," I've, I've seen other people do it. I've read comments and they'll always say we don't have the proper uh, beans <laughs> or the proper bread. That would just have to figure out. We might make some homemade bread so it's not as sweet. Yeah. Anyway, regardless, we didn't have the right beans. Now we have uh, beans. And now we do. So this is awesome. Like, Let me check. It's so weird because we've had this probably for like two weeks in our house. <laughs> and then we just Sorry. had been to have this conversation this, this morning when we do this video. <laughs> and like, it's like an answer, dream come true, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like, like listen, it was like listening to our conversation. I have no idea. <laughs> he explains everything though. Does he explain the original yeah, custard? Yeah, uh, the bread's custard powder. The British aren't renowned for their sauces, unlike the French, but the original custard is a British recipe and one of our best when done properly. Interesting. And then those are the Chekhov sponges. So you would make the custard and are put they? it on this. Yeah. They just say sponge pudding. So we're going to have to do the whole thing. We're going to have to make the beans on toast, the, the whatever that is, the sponges. <laughs> now, of course, we can't do... Oh, faggots. <laughs> Wait, what? I always forget that the word faggot over there is a meatball. Oh gosh, that's different. Yeah, I, as you guys know, it means something totally different over here. But yeah, so we probably obviously won't get this brain or whatever, but we'll have to like make some meatballs with it. <laughs> meatballs, beans on toast, and custard. <laughs> sounds like a sounds, awesome. sounds like a good meal. So how cool! Thank you so much. Good planning too. Good timing, even though it wasn't like. No one knew. Quite but. the coincidence. Alrighty, so I get to open the last packet. <laughs> last one. Very, very light. Um, I'm gonna guess crisps because of how light it is, but we will see. Let's see if there's anything. The label got torn off. And then reduct taped on. It's from someone named Bo. Bow. Bow. Oh. And you were right, crisps. <laughs> we got. More Monster Munch, flaming Hot Monster Munch, and these feel Ooh. really crunchy. We got some more Salt and Shake, um, Walker's Potato Crisps. We'll learn how to do it properly this We've time. We've got... Oh, and we did uh, open up the second package of these, and they were the proper texture. They weren't chewy, so I think our first batch was just a little off. Uh, We've also got Space Raiders Beef. Never heard of those. <laughs> uh, we've Jersey. got knickknacks, nice and spicy. Ooh, lots of spicy. We've got more McCoys, <gasps> cheddar and onion. Ooh, I like those kind. Two packages of those. And more of those. And last but not least, fish and chips, sport and vinegar. Uh oh, more vinegar. What? what? That's awesome. And the notes on the very bottom. <laughs> Another free parcel to keep you fed, Joe. Sorry and so sorry. Oh, sorry and sorry. Sorry and sorry, like pronouncing it both ways. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. We were so hungry. It's been so long since we've eaten. <laughs> but really, though, the crisps are amazing. So, I, again, almost... Actually, other than these, all the rest are new. Yeah, for sure. So... And we can try and do these the proper way this time. <laughs> and not just eat them straight out of the bag. We gotta salt them first. Anyway, guys. Just... Thank you. Like, I don't know, like, these are really, really, really thoughtful. Very unique. Not saying that the others weren't thoughtful, but like, just the time and effort put into these just blows my mind. Yeah. Like, Alan with all the newspaper, like, eh, like just so much stuff. The book. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, was that's, really I'm cool. really looking forward to that. The whole, like, little meal kit is awesome. The jerseys are amazing. Um, Actually pretty comfortable, too. Of course, more snacks and uh, sw sweets and uh, crisps. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Honestly, like everything. And the flag. Yes, and we can't forget the flag. <laughs> yeah, just just thank you guys. Like, I, I don't know. I just oh, wow. I say thank you, but I just feel like I don't get that across other than just saying it a ton and ton of times. But just, I, I am very thankful. Like, thank you times a thousand. Oh, there you go. I don't know, guys. Uh, just wow. Uh, <laughs> blowing my mind with just how thoughtful and generous people are. And you know, now there's more to come because we've got. More video ideas for sure. We've got that, we've got snacks, we've got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, yeah, just one more time, just thank you. And if you watched <laughs> this and enjoyed this, be sure to comment below and thank the people who sent these as well, because they deserve a lot of credit. They deserve a shout out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they if, deserve technically all the credit, we just make it known. And all the people that, the people that sent us stuff that we didn't get a name, if you're wanting to rename, remain anonymous, ah, <laughs> I understand that, but I would like at least maybe you to message me directly, privately, through email, Instagram, or Discord. And just let me know that you sent this so I can thank you. Yes. And let me know what you think, uh, thought of the video and your, just your thoughts. Hopefully we've done you all justice. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Please be safe, take care, look after one another, and cheers. Cheers! We were supposed to say it at the same time. We talked about this. Cheers! cheers. That's not how you say it. Whatever. How do you say it? <laughs> Tschüss. Cheers. Tschüss. Tschüss. That's how they say it in Germany. Tschüss. These are Germans. They say it different in different places. <laughs> Cheers. Whatever, guys. Uh, Cheers. We will uh, catch you guys in the next one. Just whatever. <laughs> Just thank you. <laughs>